My name is Stephen Ohene. I am a pharmacist. I joined the church at a time I was going through a lot of financial distress. And uh, ever since I joined the church, the kind of things that I've seen, I realized that it is not ordinary. And the more I delay in sharing the testimony, the more I even forget about some of them. And <laughs> uh, give a mighty hand unto Jesus. Last year, I got a good contract and uh, life was good. But along the line, somewhere around August, my finances be began to go down gradually and I did not understand. Probably I thought it was maybe the economy or the change in government, so I took it for granted. Mm. But it got to a time I had had it up to my neck. I was deeply in debt and I didn't know what to do. So I began to search for somebody, I mean, a prophet to do something for me, virtually to do a miracle for me because I had been given a deadline to make some payment which I was unable to do because all my checks had been locked up, no monies were coming, they got to mm. a point. So I woke up one morning and I called a certain prophet somewhere. I went to do an emergency, nothing happened. But before then, my wife had been coming here for uh, a spiritual. spiritual checkup. She has been pulling me, but I was not coming. So one Tuesday, when I was going to see a prophet, my wife was coming here for prayers. And the prophet located her, and she, he asked her, where is your husband? I want to see him. Mm -hmm. In fact, can I speak with him? And he gave my num she gave my number to the prophet. I was somewhere, by the time the prophet's call came, I was even on a queue waiting to be attended to by a prophet somewhere. Wonderful. Oh, give a mighty hand on to Jesus. So, I came here a Friday to see the prophet after an all night in his office. And when you look at me, these were the, pro the words of the prophet. Don't go anywhere. Your prosperity is here. Wonderful. Don't go anywhere. Your prosperity is here. Celebrate Jesus. Continue. That was in November. So he said, God is going to surprise you by the before the end of this year. And we were about to, it was in November and the church was about to start a 21 days fasting. My glory shall be restored. So he said I should join. He just prayed for me and I left. In fact, I must say, when I left the office, I was quite of... Uh, disappointed because I was thinking he was going to give me some special oil for some direction. So I was disappointed. But when I sat in my car, a word dropped into my soul. He said, at thy word, at thy word. Peter told Jesus, we had toyed the whole night, but at thy word. So That's right. the word was just ringing in my, because I wasn't going to come back. Mm. But I said, let me join. When we started the fasting, Three days, I got a contract. Give a mighty hand on to Jesus. I got a contract worth 180,000. That is 1.8 billion Ghana cities. Wonderful. Is that all you can do for Jesus? And the person paid 120,000 cash. I said, cash. wow. Is it a coincidence? Well, let me continue. <laughs> Second week of the first, I got another contract, 140,000. Hey! Somebody celebrate Jesus! The person paid 100,000 CDs cash. I said, this is not ordinary. That's right. Let's wait and see. The third week, we were uh -huh. ending the, the first. It was the 14th anniversary here. I was sitting down here. That's right. I decided to come and sow a good seed here because I realized that it's a good soil. Mm -hmm. I was sitting down here when I, I saw a call coming in. I couldn't pick. So after the church service, I realized that the person has sent me a message. He said, look at your WhatsApp. Where have you been I'm trying to call you? It was a friend who was, who was a, a, a business partner. There was a business we had been chasing. For the past two months, the door was not opening. 
He said, the man has released the check. I said, wow. wow. Oh, get my mighty hand. <laughs> it is happening in a city of power. Celebrate the power of God. In fact, before the end of the year, as the prophet said, I got believed. And as for the contracts, the thousands, and it kept on coming, 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 and I was able to pay my debt. Hallelujah. Oh, give a mighty hand on to Jesus. He came here indebted, but now he has paid all his debts. Celebrate the God of Pega. Indeed, the God of Pega is a God of great miracles. I give a mighty heard. hand on to Jesus. Celebrate Jesus, somebody. Now, my second testimony is, goes like this. About, I was young, actually, about 16 years old, when I woke up one morning and I could not walk. Half of my body was paralyzed. My leg and my hands, I could not use it for anything. So, I was taken to the hospital and I was diagnosed of left hemiplegia. So, through medical intervention, I was able to, I mean, recover. But since then, along the line when I was growing, I realized that it was almost coming back. It comes on and off. Sometimes I experience it in the form of loss of sensation. Like, I'll be using my hands, but I can't feel anything. A touch. Yes. Mm. Sometimes I'll be walking, I, I can't feel that. I mean, my, my Your sense of touch yeah. was gone. Yeah. When I became a pharmacist, I understood the condition that if you experience such conditions, you, you, are, you, you are in a high risk of developing uh, stroke. Okay. So I was quite worried anytime it comes. There was a time our papa started ministering, I came to drop a seed here. At once by force, I could not feel that sensation again because I was certain that it had come and That's right. I was not feeling using my hands or my leg mm. when I dropped in the seat at once by fault it had vanished. disappeared it had disappeared give a mighty hand on to Jesus <laughs> left a pressure from the age of 16 left. has disappeared yes. after sowing your seed ever since I have never experienced it before Wonderful. I think that wonderful. I have received my healing. What and a I'm living God. I'm very grateful to God for such a wonderful thing he has done for me. Mm. I want to advise somebody, if you are listening to me on radio or watching me mm. on TV. Unfortunately, it is only in Ghana when greater things are happening, mm. we think that it is not from God. Mm. Please, run to the city of power to experience the greater works of God. Over here, the oven is very hot. Anytime you enter here, your life will be changed. Give a mighty hand on to Jesus. Next testimony. Breaking you. My name is Kweku Bonsu. Uh, this morning, I came all the way from Kumasi uh, to participate in the program which is going on today. That's right. Uh, when I was done with my national service, I was jobless. So one, one, uh, I decided to fast for three days. So on the third day, as I was praying one afternoon in the room, I just felt like I should tune into any of the radio stations which has anything gospel to do at that time. I tuned into, I got to Spring FM when I heard uh, uh, the Papa on the radio at that time. There were testimonies going on and most of them were much related to jobs and traveling breakthroughs. And at that time, I, I was also challenged looking for jobs. So I said, oh, if job, then let me locate the place and come here. So I got the address. I came here on the following Tuesday, which was a miracle service. At that time, as I was coming that day, I walked all the way where I used to stay at Afariwa to the place. Because I had nothing on me. I had only 20 pesos. That 20 pesos was what I used to buy the, the water. The water. <laughs> the sachet water. So I did as he ordered us to do. And I drank the water, walked my way back home. So when I slept that night, uh, God showed me a series of dreams, about three of them. 
one of them which uh, was related to that my name was mentioned. I was called to produce forth my documents. As to what documents, it didn't occur to me, but I was to bring my documents. In the dream, I realized I was in my room searching for these documents that I was asked to bring, and I was not seeing them. Suddenly, I saw an aunt that came in when she was looking at me. I said, I'm looking for this document. Have you found them? She brought it forward and said, yeah, they. And I'm busy and said, no, they are there. I said, I'm interested to be. And I'm saying, for my dear mommy. So. Give a mighty hand on to Jesus. With much confidence, I took these documents from her and I woke up. So afterwards, I've been coming to, I was coming to church all the time, particip participating in every program, fasting and prayers I was doing. So I was more hopeful one afternoon when I received a call that, are you Mr. So -so -so? I said, yes, please. I'm calling from this bank. Uh, please, are you not aware that you are supposed to start work today? I said, no. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Jesus Christ. You didn't hear him. You would have celebrated better than you are doing. I received a call. They asked me, are you Mr. So -so -so? I said, yes, please. They introduced themselves, calling from this bank. They asked me, are you not aware that you are supposed to start work today? I said, no, please. You have not attended any interview? No interview. Hey! God of Pegai, Nama Papa, God of Pegai. You, you know, go suffer. You know, go bear for bread. Go ahead. Okay, so they said your appointment letter still lies on our table, so come and pick it. I told them I'm in Kumasi at the moment. So they asked me if I can get someone to pick it on my behalf from their head office in Accra here. So I called someone. Within 30 minutes, he has gone for it. He only scanned the copy to me. And the following day, I went to the branch that I was supposed to work. I That's showed right. them my letter. They said, you are welcome. Have a seat. This will be your next. You are to begin. Wonderful. With. Hey! <laughs> as simple as that. Hey! <laughs> what a God! It was earlier this, uh, this year. So, for the past six months. So, the appointment was for me to serve on a probation for six months. So, when the six months is done, I will receive my confirmation to the service of bank. The six months was done just uh, last month. Last month I was here. I came here, prayed to a seat because I was in high expectation for my confirmation to come. And after a week, my letter came. I received my confirmation. So Wonderful. Oh, give a mighty hand. So now you can call yourself a banker. Yes. That's the, right. As a permanent, on the status of a permanent staff. That's so right. I'm there with it. Wonderful, I'm wonderful. He said he came here to sow a seed. Mm. And he left. Yes. What grounds is this? Mm. Fetter ground. Fetter ground. The God of prayer is a God of great miracles indeed. Mm. Breaking yoke is a, true, is a true place of God. Mm. Oh, give a mighty hand on to Jesus. Okay. When he was coming to this house, he walked all the way from Afarawa to Klagon. He came here with only 20 pesos. Only 20 pesos. And today, see, he's a banker. God has transformed my life. Wonderful. Oh, do it better for Jesus. Continue. I give a testimony here that something happened in my workplace. Okay. When Papa is doing the oil service, I take a word from his mouth. When he sprinkled the oil, he said, may God favor you and give you a new song. Mm. And I take that word. Mm. And I pray throughout the night here, that is the only prayer I give. Mm. God favor me and give me a, a new song. That's right. God favor me and give me a new song. When we left home, I slept to rest more. And when I wake up 10 o'clock that way, I saw a missed call on my phone. Mm. And I called back. And the man said, oh, Morgan, where are you? Mm. 
I said, I'm at home now. So, oh, you are favored. Wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> wow. And I asked, what favor is that? And he told me, you know the conception that is going on between the major power provider in the country to that they have to cancel all the contract that, has, that is going on. Mm. And, but you, when we, go, we held a meeting this morning in our office, and they are saying that where you are doing your work, you have to continue that work. Up to Jesus September. Christ! Jesus Christ! What a testimony! Somebody celebrate Jesus! Celebrate the God of the God! Wonderful! <laughs> After the oil service, this is what God has done. The government was canceling contracts. And they said, as for him, they will cancel any other contract, but as for him, he will continue his contract. Give a mighty hand on to Jesus. And we are about 20 contractors that are executing that contract. We mm. are 20 in number. That's right. And the single-handed I alone, my company, mm. that the part that I'm doing, they have decided that that part has to be continued. That's right. Oh, what a mighty God! What a mighty God! I'm advising you that are not yet here. And you are here. I just came here, not, it's not up to one year. Mm. But I hold myself as an old member. Mm. So if you are here, hold yourself as an old member. Do everything that they are doing. And God will favor you. Amen. Amen. God bless you. Go to the altar for prayer. That is very, very, very powerful testimony. Very, very powerful testimony. Give a mighty hand unto Jesus. Let's hear the next testimony. Breaking your fire. 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 My testimony is allocated Breaking Yoke 2016, 19th October. The day I came, we were in the first temple. Papa came to the altar and located me that he saw me counting U.S. dollars. Can you lift your voice small? He saw you counting U.S. dollars. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, and I received that prophecy because in the year 2014, I was having about $1 million in my account. And all of a sudden, 2015, everything just vanished on my life. Give a mighty hand unto Jesus. So, through that, I continue worshiping here every day and night. Everything they are doing, I'm inside continuously. Today, I can say this glory, the glory must be restored for this six months. God has done something great in my life that I receive a contract of 230,000 US dollars. Wow. Is that all you can do for Jesus? As Papa declared that this year is the year of glory, in six months of the year of glory, his glory has been restored with a contract of 220,000 US dollars. Give a mighty hand unto Jesus. Thank the God of Pagan for the great thing that you have done into my life for this mm. year. I've seen like my glory have restored from the enemies. So That's right. Thanks God for God of Pagan. What are you saying to those listening to you on radio or okay. watching your TV? Those who are watching me or listening to me on radio, anyone have these challenges that I pass through, you can Try and locate breaking your quickly. You run to breaking your God will restore your glory for you. In the Amen. Name of Jesus. Go to the altar for prayer. God bless you. Let's hear the next breaking yoke. Fire. 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 I have a very short testimony. My name is Charles Blessing. Okay. Um, I've been here for almost a year, 
Um, actually, I, I go to church in Accra, but from time to time, we live just close by. So every time there's an all night or Tuesday service, I find my way over here. Mm. So last, I think last two or three weeks, he was calling for seed. Mm. In fact, I didn't have money. So he called for 1,000 CDs. Around that time, I, I didn't even have hope that I'll get 1,000 CDs to come and sow the seed. But I took a, a, a step, step of faith. faith. Mm. So the, within the same week, um, some 500 Ghana cities came into my hands. And I told my wife, this particular one is for the, the uh, what they call the seat. We are not going to touch it. So I didn't even take one CD out of the money. I packed everything into the envelope. I added the leaf just like the way he said we should do. The same week, I haven't counted. In my, my work, line of work, people always talk about they have this dollar, that dollar. I have never counted dollar in my life. But for the first time in my life, I was counting dollar like Ghana cities. Go oh, away better for Jesus. I didn't know that God can bless you in Ghana to be counting dollars like Ghana cities, the God of Pega. So my advice, um, we pray a lot in this house, but it's not just the prayer. I believe seed sowing also opens and breaks chains. There is power in seed sowing. There is power in seed sowing. Oh, give a mighty hand unto Jesus. That is the power of seed sowing. God bless you, God bless you, God bless you, God bless you. I know you have really enjoyed this program. What is left for you to do is to run like something is chasing you to the house of power, the city of power, the house dedicated for your deliverance and breakthrough, where nobody's become somebody's. Breaking your ministry international. Come, and your life will never be the same. See the buses, they will convey you from different directions to the house of God. You are here, moving in our midst. I worship you, I worship you. I worship you, I worship you.